beautiful collective thank you for joining me hope you're doing fabulous collective let's get right to it messages collective energy you were a strong warrior a star seed collective healing hands you're able to use universal energy with your hands to help people alleviate spiritual, <clears throat> physical, or mental suffering and clear energetic blockages. You can use your imagination and creativity to create a wide array of routes to success and build your dreams to an abundant life. Teacher. Your words have the power to heal, making you a source of light for the wounded that come to you, for your guidance and your wisdom to give them strength and direction. A storyteller, you have the ability to express life through stories and enhance your magic with symbols. Spirit may also communicate with you through synchronicities. You've got intelligence here. You're able to stimulate a person's mind, fu fusing sexuality with intelligence to achieve your goals. Now, here you are. You're an unbridled erotic energy in its purest tantalizing form, having the ability to help others release sexual fear and be more authentic in their expression. Mirror, you disrupt things in order to enable people to see themselves differently and begin to heal the ultimate mirror. Clairvoyant, you've got so many gifts collective, it's almost as if, you know, you are karma. Uh, you can be a blessing or you can be karma. Like, if people have karmic energies, they're drawn to you for that exposure. That's why you may have encountered a lot of dark energies in your life because they are drawn to your light. And you ha you are a human mirror. You reflect in things that either disturb them, like you may be attracting a lot of people who have had sexual issues uh, that need healing, either physically, mentally, or energetically. You have healing hands. Some run from that light, and some know that they need it. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Wants to go this way. So shall it be. Hmm. So this evil one. They're drawn to you because of their own... Um, interesting the karmic is actually drawn to you also as a mirror you're reflecting in the karmic who they truly are that's why they spy on you that's why they're always up in your business because you truthfully are not just a mirror to your person you're a mirror to this karmic why they talk shit about you love triangle <laughs> secret rendezvous well you're busy trying to hustle to make money for this relationship they're doing meetups at motels they could have lied and said that you were doing this that you were stringing them along. But what it is, is this person is hustling this person for money. You know it. 
That's why the karmic's all up in your business all the time. Extreme views. This person thought they were going to hit pay dirt with this karmic. Uh, but someone's threatening this person now. Threatening them with revealing something to you or to others your person wants you back they've made some kind of careless mistake that it could affect them long term they could have got pulled over by the cops They were having a secret rendezvous with, at a secret location with a very sketchy person. And that person may have called the cops on them. Explain to me, Spirit, what this uh, secret rendezvous is all about. Oh, maybe with you. <laughs> maybe that's why this person didn't trust you. Maybe that's what they thought you were up to. Or what this karmic said. Oh, ah, yes, spying, the other lover, this person loved you, so they got to interfere, stick their nose in it, could have said that you were having secret rendezvous, but you're over here, the nine of pentacles, the ace of pentacles as the earth angel. High honor, high respect. You're not going to do nothing like that. This other lover could have. <clears throat> knowing that this person was in love with you. They see you as wish fulfillment, the star. They look at you as having healing hands. This is a healer's hands. Okay? And this third party was judging you belittling you, saying hurtful things about you, gossiping, backstabbing, and lying. And that is the truth. Now, it's because this person uh, ended something with somebody because of a heartbreak, somebody was drinking, and cheating. This person stressed out about you. See, look, man, you have healing hands. I'm telling you right now, you are a human mirror. You are reflecting not only to your person what they needed to be revealed about themselves, but what this karmic needed to be revealed about. Very interesting. Do you know for a lot of you, this karmic is more interested in you and what you're doing than what your person is doing. Oh. Sexual assault. Holy fuck. So your person could have hooked up with somebody who's very sketchy. Could have called the police on this person and accused them of sexual assault. Yes, called the coppers. I 
I don't know. Clubbed. Something is, somebody's holding something over this person's head. They said that they were broke. I don't know. Maybe they hooked up with a sketchy person out of a secret rendezvous at a secret hotel. And they're supposed to pay this person. And I think that they said they had no money. They were broke. And I think someone laid a whooping on them, a beating on this person. Or that's what they called the cops and said this person did to them, sexually assaulted them. Somebody could be going to jail. It's to control this person in order to make them walk away from you. Vindictive. Wanted vengeance on this person, see? Because I think your person was ignoring them. Might be someone who they have a family with, who is jealous. Manipulating. You mother effers just to make them break up with the Empress. It is blackmail. It is. It is. I don't care in what form. It's blackmail. You either do what I say or I'm going to call the cops on you and I'm going to say you sexually assaulted me. I'm going to say you raped me. They're embarrassed, ashamed. Hmm. They could have said, no, don't do that. Don't embarrass me. My girlfriend or my person has overactive imagination. They'll think I raped you. They'll think I did this. They'll think I did that. The human mirror. Oh my God. You have reflected their demons on them. And you're also reflecting the karmics. Oh, you got a double whammy going on here. You sounds like you got a double mission. Not only are you a human mirror to your person, you're a human mirror to the karmic. You got a double mission. That's why the karmic's always up in your business, always spying on you, obsessed with you, drawn to your light for healing. Somebody may have The karmic may have been raped by somebody at a secret rendezvous. But there's accusations here. What it was for was to hold something over your person's head. Now, somebody asked for money. Give me your money. Your person says, I don't have any money. 
they could have had some pimp could have laid the boots to this person just to be real if you're the masculine the upright masculine your person may have been raped hooking up with sketchy people third party triangle so this this is set up here meet me at this location at this motel somebody could have arranged to have your person beaten up I hope they don't think it was you <laughs> I'm certainly gonna ask So tell me, no, it's your person who got a careless mistake that has affected them long term. This is the police pulling them over. Intimidating your person. Your person could have said, look, I'm broke. I can't pay you. Maybe they hooked up with a hooker or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> Some hooker gets even or calls their pimp on this person to beat the crap out of them so accusing them of rape sexual assault it'll come now mind you they're in a shady location with a sketchy person What is this mistake? Why'd they get pulled over by the cops? Why'd they get pulled over by the police? Yeah, they keep saying they want to heal things with you. Or maybe they were trying to heal something with someone from their past. I don't know. It's law enforcement. <laughs> this is, could be a violent assault or some kind of... Manipulation. It's a lie and a manipulation. They just thought that they were having a fling or a one night stand because they were lonely. It's the mistake. Not trusting you. They did something foolish. There's some violence here. I'm telling you, a violent attack or some aggression. They're being intimidated. I'm telling you, assault, accusations of violence. Maybe they refuse to pay. They just like they want their family hurt or you hurt. They didn't want you to know something. 
I don't know. So, 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 somebody's like. Give me the money. I'm telling you. I don't have the money. Someone shady. I'm telling you. Police officer or someone shady. This could be at a distant horizon. Somebody was stalking, waiting. So this person got in this motel or has like, I don't have the money. I don't have the money. Maybe they got in debt with the loan shark or owed money to somebody and they're like, I'm not paying. I can't pay you. They could have got a shit kick, and I'm just saying, to be real. Somebody, there is law here. And somebody may have called on them to get their money, get even with them, see? To cause a tower. It's affecting them long term. So this is getting a police record or something like that. Just saying. It's not all fun out there. Grass isn't always greener, guys. You don't know what's on the other side of that door. This one is finding out. Take care, everyone.